I, Louis Mountbatten, am to be the last Viceroy of India, and I shall carry out the role with great pride. In 1947, Lord Mountbatten came out as the last Viceroy with Edwina as his Viceroy to hand India back. You're giving a nation back to its people. How bad can it be? Your future. We are. Then let's not make a mess of it. Mountbatten did, from all accounts, have an immense charm, incredible drive and incredible energy. He was brought in because he could get people around the table. 300 million Hindus and Sikhs want a united India, but many of 100 million Muslims do not. Well, whatever their differences are, all Indians have one thing in common. What's that? They can't wait to get rid of us. It's an amazing script because every single character gives you a different little angle into the whole thing and they all kind of come together to create a huge depth of story. Treat Kumasa from Punjab. He's the new boy. Well, Kumar, we have something in common there. The thing about the upstairs, downstairs part of this film that makes it really intriguing is that the villages of India are represented here downstairs at the Viceroy's house. These big decisions really are impacting their lives, their loves, their families, their relationships. You dance with your own kind. My own kind. Have some respect. Oh, oh, you get to see both sides of the stories through the eyes of characters that you hopefully learn to really care about, both upstairs, downstairs, and throughout the wider India. We came to give India back our freedom, not to tear it apart. Gurinder gives it a level of passion and authenticity that perhaps a British director who hadn't had the roots that she has could bring to it. Her own grandparents were refugees, so it's in her veins, this story. I'm Punjabi, but I'm also very British. That's why, in a way, I'm able to stand back and at the same time be very personal. It meant that I could focus on the voice of ordinary people as well as the politicians, not really knowing what their future was going to be. As India was partitioned into two countries. New nations are rarely born in peace. It's got to be a clean cut. It's a bloody axe cleaving right through people's lives. As an audience member, you're sort of bearing witness to everything that's happening, and I think that's what makes it fascinating to watch all unfold. It's about bringing these two worlds together at this very crucial juncture, which shows the transition and the change of power and everything. So, Gurinder is absolutely the right person to do a film like this. It has great resonance for today. Globally, we have a world where division of people is very much to the fore. It's my responsibility to make that story real and tell that story. It's time for us to come together now. What we face is the most significant moment in the history of this subcontinent.